Yes, sir. Please. Thank you. So at first, uh, from Bangladesh, uh, we uh, convey greetings to all of the world teachers here and goody goody beautiful students from different countries. Uh, this is uh, Nassim, teacher Nassim from Bangladesh. I have joined here with some of my students presenting about their, uh, you know, place of interest where they like to visit mountain or different places as this is a topic today. So now I'm expecting my student to raise their hand as for their preparation. So the students of Bangladesh, please raise your hand if you are ready with your presentation and we will, I will go as per your hands. Yes, at first, uh, Tahmid Hossain, please uh, unmute. And uh, Amy, is it possible to share the screen? I'm not sure. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, it's yeah. Possible to all. The, you can share the screen. Yes, it is allowed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Sir. I, I read in Indian English Land College, Kuna. My name is Tahmid Hussain. I read in class four. My favorite place in the world is Tokyo City. I love this city for many reasons. For example, I want to visit Disneyland in Tokyo. I also like Japan's cherry blossom and its view during evening. It becomes my favorite until when I started to watch anime. I also read a lot of manga. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nice. Can, I, can you unmute yourself and introduce? Hello, everyone. Assalamualaikum, sir. So, hello, everyone. I'm Kalsavi Zayan, and I am from Bangladesh. So, today I want to present, uh, just like everyone, and I want to present about my favorite place. Okay, yeah. So, hello, everyone, again, and I'm Kalsavi Zayan. So, today my uh, I want to present to my, about my favorite place, which is Shadik Valley. It's in a it's a actually a mountain. So I like Shadik Valley because it's a mountain range and I love places that mountains because of the greenery, but they're also close to the clouds. And it's a really good place to look from above. I love the Shadik Valley, especially because I want to view it from the highest point in the from the entire country. And that is why I want to visit Shadik Valley. I also want to visit Shadik Valley because it's a great tourist spot with various kinds of uh, hotels that I can stay, stay in and uh, in various kinds of positions in this valley so that I can see it from different kinds of perspectives. I love the Shadik Valley mostly because it is a place where I can see many things things other than seeing the entire uh, entire land from above i can see various kinds of small mountains and places where humans have gathered to create small uh, village like places with hotels and various kind of markets there are actually uh, are some roads too i love the shadik valley uh because it's a good place to visit while you are uh, really free from all of your tasks. So it's a really good place to uh, for relief uh, for relieving your mind and taking a break break from various kinds of uh, problems or work about your uh, family or your personal things. The Shadik Valley is also a great place to see various kinds of things that you cannot see in the cities or uh, seas. So thank you everyone and uh, especially uh, Nassim sir to give me a chance to join this and uh, let me uh, and everyone for giving me this chance to share my opinions and about my favorite place. Thank you. Okay, the pleasure is all of ours. I mean, all the teachers and students because uh, just the pictures are just mind blowing. 
th those pictures are kind of drawing me there. So thank you, Zan, for your nice, attractive presentation. Now I'm going, uh, going to the next presenter. Let me go for the hands. Atiya Ashfian. Atiya Ashfian. Uh, you can open your microphone, video camera, and you can start sharing the screen. Atiya, are you there? Atiya Ashfian. Okay. In one, two, three. Four and five. Okay, I'm going to Ariti Kovid. Ariti, are you there? Who is sharing? Is it Atya? Atyashpin, you are muted. Just unmute yourself first, man. We are not listening to you. Yeah. Yes. Okay, continue. Okay, I'm not sure. Some Ati Ashfian, are, are you there? Okay, in that case, let us go to Ariti. Ariti Kabir. Ariti, are... if you are not here, Ariti, then I have to go afterwards. Idrak, are you there? Yes, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum salam. So introduce yourself and go for your presentation, please. Okay, so uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning from wherever you are. Uh, my name is Idrak Alham Siran, and I read in class five of Navy and Courage School and College Kulna. And today I have like uh, gathered a presentation of what in my opinion, was the, like my favorite place in my country, actually. So uh, I'm going to like start my presentation uh, right now. So uh, let's start with Cox Bazar uh, Beach a stretch of golden sand that seems to go on forever. It is actually uh, 120 kilometers long. Uh, that seems uh, like, I know it seems very long, but when you consider that it is actually the largest sea beach in the world, uh, that it will make sense. Uh, the sheer vastness of this beach creates a sense of tranquility and calm, uh, calm that is truly unparalleled. For me, it's not just a beach. It's a canvas where uh, the time slows down, allowing for a deep connection with nature. Idra, can you reshare the screen because it's still loading. I'm not sure it's the same to others. I mean, the screen sharing issue is happening. So stop it and again, share the screen. Okay, sir. Sir, is it okay now? Um, Amy, uh, teacher Amy, is it possible? I mean, can you see the screen from your side? Uh, I think it's still loading, sir. Mm -hmm. The same here. Sir, can you see now? No, it's completely blank. Maybe some technical issues are here. Are you just uh, straightly sharing the screen? But uh, is it a PowerPoint slide or it's a picture? Sir, so it's actually a PowerPoint slide. Hmm. Okay, we are still waiting. Either do one thing. Can you send me the slide directly to me so that I can send it to we can share? I'm okay. not sure. Okay, sir, let me let me. Okay, uh, by this time, Idra, uh send it. I'm going for the next presenter. Don't worry, we'll go back to Idra again. Isba Habib. Isba, unmute, introduce yourself and go for your presentation. 
Is ba? Can you sir hear me? Yes, uh, we can hear you. Please introduce and go with your presentation. Yes, sir. Second, uh, first, can I please share my screen? Yeah, yeah, please, no problem. Isba, are you sharing the screen? Yes, sir. Sir, uh... Uh, we cannot see the screen still, so do it quickly a bit. Okay, in that case, we will go to the next presenter. Uh, Isba, get ready. Uh, and I'm expecting that if you're ready, you're raising your hand. So I'm going to uh, Nehal. Uh, Isba, get ready. Okay, uh, we will be back to you. Nafiu Nava Nehal. Nehal, introduce and go for go to the presenter. Sir. Uh, sir. Sir, may I share my screen, sir? Yes, please do it. Okay, sir. Yes, start. Okay, so hello to everyone. I'm Nafina Banihal from grade 7 of Nadia Angus School and College School of Bangladesh. So today I'd like to share about our favorite topic about myself or my favorite place, and the place which I love very much. So at first, uh, to the next slide, you can see some pictures about Kossuth Bazaar. As you, as I like to share, Kossuth Bazaar is one of my best places which I have seen in my entire life. I actually love it um, due, as it is a very longer beat and it is the largest beat in the world. And it is also a place of relaxation and, and luxury. I can I can also I can I can also say you that it's the best place for a tourist and also a very refreshing place if you are dis, if you are distressed about something you can visit this place and it's not far enough from Malaysia and then I'd like to go to the next slide about this is a place of people where where people can have fun and it's also a place of tourists. And tourists can uh, can explore many unknown facts about this place. And can have fun with the very high tents around them. And the families can also get a greater knowledge about the place and can ensure a high knowledge about many things over the beach and the tourists. So thank you to all for, le for, for letting me to say something about this presentation. And thank you to my teacher. Hey, you are most welcome, uh, Nehal. Now we are going for uh, Fatima. Fatima, unmute and introduce yourself and then present your presentation. Fatima, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Fatima, we can see the screen shared. Because... Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I am Fatima to Johara from uh, Nevenko School and College School now in class six. I am going to talk about my favorite place to visit. 
I have seen a lot of beautiful places on Earth, but this one special. In Canada, I want to visit the Niagara Falls. Niagara is 209.7 square kilometer. It's like kind of my dream to visit there. I really want to go there because I want to see uh, how the water falls from the top of the ocean, I mean mountain. Uh, you can say that there are so many waterfalls in our country, in your country, then why Niagara? Well, Niagara is bigger than the normal waterfall in Bengali. We call it Jal Prapat. That's why I, uh, when I grow up, I will visit the Niagara Fall. That's all. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice choice. Although it's uh, far from our country, but as you said... Uh, it's hard dream. Now we're going for the next presenter. Um, okay, now Ariti, are you ready? I mean, I'm not sure. Ariti. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Okay, then go. Please start. Sir, can you please wait just a minute? Mm -hmm. Do it quicker. Okay, sir. It's just loading. Mm. Sir, can you see the screen? Yeah, we can see the screen. Please proceed. Okay, so my name is Arti Kabir and my favorite place in the world is Japan, especially Tokyo. Japan is an island country in East Asia. It is in the Northwest Pacific Ocean and is bordered on the West by the Sea of Japan, the Sea of Ohustok and the Sea of China. So uh, Tokyo is the country's capital and largest city followed by Yokohama, Osaka, Nagoya, Sapporo, Fukuoka, Kobe and Kyoto. Japan has over 125 million inhabitants and it is the 11th most populous country in the world. About three-fourths of the country's territory is, is mountainous, and the most famous mountains include Mount Fuji, Mount Kita, Mount Huizan, Mount Hotaka. So now I'm going to tell about why I like Japan. I like Japan for many reasons, for its uniqueness in safety, cleanliness, customer service, culinary, and many more. From the beautiful Mount Fuji and countless Shinto shrines to its advanced technology its rich culinary culture, and the breathtaking natural beauty. Japanese people are also amazing. They value, they value harmony, having a personal responsibility, politeness, and hard work. After all this, I love Japan, and I consider it as my most favorite place in the world. Sir, it's done. Okay, uh, dear student, thank you, Auriti. Uh, I'm requesting all of you, especially who are listening, especially Bangladesh students of Bangladesh, remain muted until you are given or told to. Uh, okay, now I'm going to Farin, unmute yourself and go for your presentation. Farin. Farin, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, please start. Hello, everyone. Greetings to all of you. I'm Tasia Farin from Bangladesh. Today, I'm going to tell you about my favorite place. Okay. Let's see. Can you, can you see the screen? Yes, we can see the screen. Wait. Just a second. My favorite place is Silet, Bangladesh. Silet is a place filled with amusing views and peace. The most production of tea in Bangladesh is in here. There are unique flavored teas in here that includes the seven color tea. 
Philet also has a big number of tourists. The scenarios here are extremely heart-catching. There are also other big traits in Silet, including mountain rocks and sand. The locals here are very nice. Some of them are from different ethnic groups. They have their own culture. They sell their traditional clothing in the local markets. Silet is considered to be the spiritual capital of Bangladesh. To me, Silet is a place for vacation, away from all stress and problems, where you will feel peace and comfort. That's why it's my favorite. Thank you all. Okay, you're welcome. Now I'm going to Suva. Suva, are you ready with your uh, presentation? Yes, sir. Please so, unmute yourself, share your screen. Sir, can you see my screen? Not yet, not yet. Uh, can you share this screen? I mean, uh, do you have the option there? Yes, sir, I we do. do. Can you now? Yes, we, we can see the screen now. Continue. Hello, everyone. This is Sahana Subha from Navy Anchor School and College, Kuna in Bangladesh. Today, I'll be presenting about my favorite place, which is Chittagong. And it's a, a large city in the southwestern coast of Bangladesh. It's got many tourist spots, uh, including uh, Kagrachuri, Bandarwan, etc. But among them, my favorite one is um, Potenga Sea Beach, which is not very huge, to be honest, but I love it very much. And uh, especially during the evening, the view there is mesmerizing. And it's not uh, very beautiful, to be honest, but it's got a comforting uh, thing that I really love. And whenever I go there with my family, we're everyone together, and uh, it just makes me happy. I also get sometimes small things from there, which is not very dashing, to be honest, but it has... Uh, a special place in my book of memories, which I love. And that's it about my small presentation. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So that for your nice presentation. I believe that is all from, anybody left from Bangladesh? Anybody left from Bangladesh? Tahmid, lower your hand. Isba, lower your hand. Once you are done, please. Yes, Ati Ashfian is not done yet. Yes, Ati, can you unmute yourself? She still cannot. Okay. If you cannot. Yes, now. Uh, yeah. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Finally, Atiya. Yes, wa alaikum salam. Please go with the yes, presentation. Can you... We can listen to you now. Okay, we are. You, the screen is being shared. Yeah, we can see the screen now. <clears throat> Okay, Assalamu alaikum and good evening everyone. This is Ati Afsian from Bangladesh, Navy Anchorage School and College Khuna. Welcome to you all to my short presentation. Our selected three topics are very interesting. Every person wants to visit Tusiam area like model city, mountain and sea beach. Today I am trying to speak briefly about a game nestled along the Bay of Bengal. There are many beautiful and famous beaches around the world. Some well-known uh, ones like Bonani Beach, Australia, Waikiki Beach, Hawaii, USA, Bora Bora, France, Polynesia, Maldives, various, various beautiful beaches. White Heaven Beach, Australia. Paranang Cape Beach, Thailand, and lastly, Cox's Bazar, St. Martin, Kuakata, and Potenga Beach in Bangladesh. Now, I want to say something on the Cox's Bazar Beach. 
Cox's Bazar Beach is stretching over 120 kilometers. It is not just the longest natural sea beach in the world. It is a testament to the beauty of Bangladesh. Cox's Bazar Beach, with its golden, golden uh, sand waves and sunsets. Cox's Bazar is a heaven for tranquility and natural splendor. Bayan is breathing scenery. It is a cultural hub, a place where locals, national and international visitors alike gather to savor the insane policy of life by the sea. Our Bangladeshi people are very cordial to help you everyone and every moment. The Cox's Bazar Beach presents our country as famous in the world. In this class, I am inviting all of you to visit our lovely beach in Bangladesh. Thank you all and thank you very much. See you again. Okay, uh, thank you, dear Ati Ashfian. I'm going to the next presenter. Uh, I think Isba, is, do you want to say something still? Do you have something to talk? Isba, unmute yourself. I haven't done my, uh, I haven't seen my presentation. Okay, okay, then please complete it first. May I share my screen? Yeah, please. We have last one after you, Aprida Anandil. Okay, sir. Sir, can you... Uh, see my screen no no, no. Uh, maybe you haven't started sharing the screen there is a share option below the screen of your computer or phone it's down there yes so now can you share my screen yes now we can sh see that you're sharing the screen Today, my topic is my favorite place. So, what is your favorite place? Our favorite place is where one enjoys the most, where one feels safe, where one has his best memories. So, what about me? What is my favorite place? My favorite place is my hometown, my village, Jigorgasa. Before moving towards my presentation, first, I will introduce myself. I'm Isbab from Bangladesh, I read in class eight. You'll be thinking, what is so special about this place? This place is my childhood. In my eyes, everything is everything here is magical. The nature, the weather, everything. So let me introduce this uh, place to you guys. Jigorasai is a small village situated at Joshua district in Bangladesh. Jigorasai has a river called Kopotakko, where our famous prophet, uh, sorry, poet Michael Modishudan Dotto wrote some of his famous poems. There is a, another place called Gokkali. It is the biggest flower garden in Bangladesh. It is also known as the Flower capital of Bangladesh or Bangladesh Fule Rajdhani. I went to Chigagasa once a year. When I go there, I never forget to visit these places. Uh, in my village, I spend time with my family. I play different types of games with my cousins like Golachut, Burichu, Daria Banda, etc. These are some traditional games of Bangladesh. The most marvelous thing about this place is their people. The people of Jurasa are the best. They will help you with all their heart without judging you, your caste, or your income. According to me, the favorite thing about this place is the memories that I have made here. And the memories that I have made, uh, uh, made with the people, with my family. So that's all it from my side. 
thank you uh, you guys for listening my presentation and thank you sir and miss for giving me this honorable chance okay welcome isba for your nice presentation i'm going to afrida nadil our last presenter Yes, Afrida. Yeah, actually, it is showing that someone is already sharing screen. Okay, then Isba, close it. Yeah. Sir, no, can you see my screen now? Yes, we all can see your screen. Good evening. I'm Afrida Anadil from Bangladesh. Today, I would like to talk about my favorite place, Joshua, a place of history, heritage, beauty, prosperity, and talents. The history. The ancient name of Joshua was Obumti. As the most of the top talents of Mogoth were born here, the city was known as Obumti Sreshti Mogoth, which means Obumti, the best place of Mogoth. It belonged to the ancient Janapad Bong. It is the oldest district of undivided Bengal, established in 1781. And also the first independent district of Bangladesh during the Liberation War in 1971. This slide represents refugees on Joshua Road during the Liberation War in 1971. About 10 million Bangladeshi refugees went to India through Joshua Road in 1971. The historic poem September on Joshua Road was written by the American poet and activist Alan Ginnisberg. Why this name? Joshua was known as Joshua. Here, Josh means fame and Hor means who snatches away. Fame of all other cities would fade away in the respect of this city. Tourist attractions in this city. Mudhupoli, home of the great poet Michael Mudhushudan Dutt. Jor Bangla Mosque, Ghorar Mosque, Baro Bajar, Ilvan Shiva Temple, Chachra Shiva Temple, Deul of Bharat Raja, Kena IT Park, Banapal Land Port, Floating Bridge on Chapa Baur, large water body using low cost indigenous technology, Bangladesh Air Force Academy. Joshua Airport. Why is Joshua famous for? Date palm juice, gur, and patali prepared from the juice. Godkali, the kingdom of flour. 90% of the domestic requirements of flour is fulfilled from Godkali. Flowers also is exported abroad from Godkali Joshua. Rasagulla, a type of sweet of Jamtala one of the largest vegetable markets of the country. Joshua is the land of talent. The memorial persons are the great poet Michael Mudushudan Dotto, Mir Musharraf Hussain, Kamala Shankar, Muhammad Muniru Jaman, Nihar Ranjan Gupta, Shuchanda, Champa, Bobita, Poran Bandopadhe, Riyaj, Shabnur. Joshua is the land where I belong to. This is why Joshua is my favorite place. Thank you. You're welcome, Afrida Nandil. Uh, that was so informative presentation. And by this, we uh, say kind of end of our session. So thank you all the teachers presented here for li patiently listening to our kids' uh, small presentations. Thank you, Amy, especially. Thank you, sir. And also, I give uh, thank you so much for students from Bangladesh. All places are beautiful place. Thank you so much. Next, I would like to give chance to uh, Ramanisha from yeah, India. Can I go on, teacher? Yes. Yeah, please. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Can you able to see teacher? 
Yes, we can. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Ramanisha from India. I am studying grade 9. I am here to present you that my favorite places, which is in my country, in my state. Yeah, first, one of my favorite places is Chennai, city Madras in India. Chennai is one of the leading city in India. It is also of uh, with the leading ports in India and the second largest port in India. Like Chennai, the capital of Tamil Nadu, which is my street, I belong to Tamil Nadu, is a cultured, elegant and refined city. Here the customary arts grow and flourish. You can find a school of dance and music in almost every area of the city. Uh, every parents thought to teach the child like dance and other things. Eight seen famous tourist places in Chennai. These are all the famous places you can see in the Chennai. Like this is a church in Chennai, which is very famous. Yeah, Chennai. We have Marina Beach in Chennai, one of the big and famous beach. Marina Beach in Chennai, India, uh, by the Bay of Bengal. Big beach. It is one of the largest city beaches. Cool stuff. People like it for views, fun things to do, and landmarks like lighthouses. Uh, I think Ramanesha, your uh, slide is not move. Please, uh, you can. Yeah. Can you able to see, teacher? Yes, it's visible, but not not move to other slide. Now, actually, presenter window is stuck. I mean, there is a message maybe behind your screen. Can you search for hidden tabs? Ramanisha, you can do one thing. You can, uh, I mean, restart the screen share. That could solve the issue, I think. Let me share again. So, can you able to see now? Yes, yes now it's all. Please proceed. Oh, sorry. Next, we have famous temples in Chennai. Like, Chennai is also home to. Kapaleshwar Temple and Parthasastri Temple. They attract a lot of devotees from various parts of India and all over the world. Some came to Tamil Nadu for visiting the temples. The architecture of the temples were very old. Some temples are more, almost 100 uh, years old. And Chennai is also one of the famous place for temple. And I have a video for you guys. We are here at the Arinya Rana Zoological Park, popularly known as the Wanderlur Zoo. Oh. I think there is again a issue in it. I can't play the video, sorry for that. And it is about the zoo which is in Chennai. Like we can see almost all the animals there. And next we have Old Town, Mahabalipuram, is a really town, Old Town in India. Special recognition for UNSC, UNESCO things, the ancient temples, they are important. By the sea, it's almost also near this ocean and a school, old stuff to see. The temple is almost near to the world, ocean. Like, you can also enjoy the temple and also you can enjoy the ocean. And famous show temple in Mahabalipuram, 
Mahabalipuram is for short temple, a beautiful Asian structure by the sea, big rock carvings. Visitors can see massive rock carvings and sculptures that tell stories from a long time ago. Craftsmanship. The town is famous for its skilled craftsmanship. Craftsman makes stone sculptures showing off their talents. Like it is not new temple, it is very big temple, but the carvings and the sculptures looks like new. Like before itself, they thought very clearly and they have done it too good. And we have a video. Let me see at least for you. I think you have seen a big rock in the video. That is, there is no support for the rock, but the rock is standing still. Uh, it doesn't move still a little bit. It is uh, still very strong and there is, it is very strong and it did, doesn't move for a little. And thank you so much for giving this opportunity. Like, and I also want to thank from my teacher, Jansi ma'am also, like for giving those wonderful meetings. Thank you so much for the teachers, those who are uh, attended and those who saw in my presentation very slowly. Like, thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much, Ramanisha, Ramanisha, for beautiful presentation. Next, I'll give the floor to teacher Pam and student. Please, teacher. Okay, now I would like to introduce my student, Haitung. Haitung, please. Can you share screen? Okay. Tung ơi, Tung chia sẻ màn hình đi con. Con bấm chia sẻ màn hình đi con nói. Con ơi, share screen màu xanh ấy. Hello teacher, my name is Hai Tung. I'm from I'm from Vietnam. Today I'm very happy to share with you about beautiful landscape in my country. It's Ha Long Bay. It's my favorite place. Ha Long Bay is in Quảng Ninh province in 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 the north east of Vietnam. Ha Long Bay nearly 2000 island. Houston Island, a uh, man standing facing the plain. Labong Island is like an old man sitting and fishing. Fighting Cox Island are a part of um, islands that look like chickens playing on the water. And, and Lu Huang Island. Stand in a vest, see, since they're all so real, really amazing. At Hạ Long Bay, you can join an, in an adventure of discovery, water system with many mysterious caves, such as Tien Kung Cave, the, Tien Kung Cave, the Gold Cave. And some sort of Moreover, there are countless other beautiful caves, such as Ching Nu Cave, Tam Kung Cave, Counter of the Ten Kung Cave, Tam Kung Cave, and Dong Tien Lake. They are really the creatures castle between earthly places. Ha Long Bay also has many beautiful beaches. Tancho Beach, quick two kilometer long wide distance of, of, of sand and a climbing pool place. place. It's truly a peaceful place, place to, uh, to relax. If you want to 
low scoop boat diving or sailing, sunbathe or build sand castle, or walk along the beach to see the nice view. There are, there are always something for you. And there is another fantastic beach to talk about. It's a sanding beach with clear water. You all take part in activities such as, as swimming, canoeing, or playing volleyball. Ming Chao Beach Week Wild Sand gives us a great feeling amongst the sea. And Quan Lan Beach has clear water and it is very charming. Their beaches are really interesting. This destination not to be missed when you are in Hạ Long Bay. Hạ Long Bay has um various encouraged with about 347 species of plant. There um there are many kinds of seafood in Hạ Long. Shut shut uh in Hạ Long shut us. A busy sea cucumber, spring, spring, squid, octopus, oyster, nearly 500 species of fish and 57 species of crab. Forest Coral Bay is a beautiful scenery with many colors such as white, blue, pink, red. Ninkos their coral fish will be an un, white and un, unprojectable is explain in your life as research of inter internet Halong Bay has been tried recalled by UNESCO as work natural has never side confirmed the global value of Long Bay is um is has been been voted one of the new seven wonder of Halong. I would like to welcome to you to Halong Bay one day. Goodbye and see you again. Amazing, beautiful presentation. I appreciate it. Really wonderful. Tùng ơi, Tùng, Tùng chắc chia sẻ màn hình ý Tùng ơi. Vâng. Ừ. Để bây giờ tắt, bắt tắt. Rồi. Anh chia sẻ đây, Hello teachers and uh, and dear friends. My name is Phạm Gia Huy. I'm 10 years old. I am from Vietnam. Today, I'm very happy to show you my favorite place, which is Hanoi, the capital of our country. Hanoi is well known for its wonderful places with sight and people. A million visitors travel to Hanoi annually. Uncle Ho's Mausoleum, Hoa Lo Prison, Long Bien Bridge, One Pillar Pagoda, and many other places are popular tourist destinations in Hanoi. Each of them has a separate historical significance. Motorbikes are the mode of transportation for locals in Hanoi. The city center is full of lost trees, parks, and lakes. Keeping the air clean and fresh, the people of Hanoi are gracious, friendly, and welcoming. If you visit Hanoi, you should try some of the city's well-known dishes, including four. Vietnamese rice noodles, noodles with fried tofu, shrimp 
pastor, just to name a few. We perceive Hanoi as a city that is postmodern and historic. Anyone who is reminiscent of Hanoi expressly insists an unforgettable emotion. I like Hanoi because has because Hano is modern as historic. I adore and I'm proud of my hometown, Hanoi. I would like to welcome you to Vietnam, to Hanoi. Goodbye and see you again. Wonderful, wonderful presentation. Very nice presentation, yes. yes. The pictures are very beautiful. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Thank you so much, teacher Pam and student. Are you uh, finished? All students have presentation? Okay. Thank you for wonderful, wonderful presentation. Next, I would like to give a chance to teacher Cho students. Damian and Lucy, are you there? Yes. Okay, please. Are you ready? Yes. Here, do I have to start? Yes. Okay, we should. Uh, hello, everyone. I, my name is the Wizard. You can also call me Lucy, and I'm a student from Lucy. Well, I from number and today i'm going to be sharing my favorite places around the world Sorry. so the first thing is in number which is my hometown <laughs> there are a lot of beautiful places in number which attracts a lot of tourists but I'm going to be talking about Bagan and Changda. Bagan is a place where there are so many pagoda and a lot of people likes to go. In the there are a lot of pagoda, as I said, and and we can get some traditional tattoos there. And Changda is a beach where I really like to go because the, the is so beautiful and the sunset is just nice to watch. Now I'm going to share about another place in Thailand, Bangkok. So I have been in Thailand before in 2023 and I would like to go again. So you can see some pictures I took in Thailand. And the places I went there was Sea Life, Dreamo, and Madin Duso, which are very popular places in Bangkok. And another thing is that Sea Life is a very good aquarium. Dreamo is a amusement park, and Madin Duso is a West Coast Museum, which I like going to. It is a very interesting place and I will recommend you to go there if you are willing to go to Thailand. And another place is South Korea, Seoul and Busan. There are many places that are attractive, attractive in South Korea too, but I like choosing Seoul and Busan because they are very good cities, and islands that uh, I have never been before, but it's my dream to go to there. 
the reason that I like these places are that the places are really beautiful. Um, I just like watching the nature. And some of them are where I have already visited, but still want to go again because of how beautiful, clean, and wonderful they are. The food there is really good. Like, I have tried a lot of food, and I really like them, mostly. And we can do so many new things, like try out new food and going to different places like an amusement park or aquarium or anywhere. It's very clean in those places too. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, thank you very much. And before I stop, uh, I would like to invite our leader of this program, Damien. Thank you, Lucy. Well, hello guys. Um, Now I'm gonna tell you about my favorite place. It is the shore of Bahuk in Maldives and also known as the Sea of the Stars. And uh, it's just like, how can I say, whenever you touch a wave, a water or a wet sand, it's glow a blue, like, you know, like a firefly. So it is called by the title of, of like bioluminescent called phytoflankan, can and called dinoflagellate. And uh, it is the part of the atoll of Rio Mordai in the Indian Ocean. And uh, Vahu is like 87 miles, miles north from the mill, the capital of El. If you want to visit to there, like in July or February, July to February, those are the best months to visit in there. And uh, like my next place is like Finland, Norway, Denmark. So kind of like that in Europe, the best place on the world, a peaceful place. Actually, your favorite place can be anywhere. Like if you spend time with your beloved one, it can also be your like favorite place. And uh, I would like to suggest you guys to go to your favorite place whenever you come, because who knows, it can be your unforgettable memory memorable day for your life so yeah try your best to go to your favorite place i wish you all go can go there in one, one day amazing amazing lucy and damien <laughs> i'm so impressed so nice nice presentation thank very you. nice wonderful thank yes. you so thank much you. Thank you. Thank you very much. okay thank you so much teacher um student from Myanmar, Myanmar. And now I would like to invite um, Ma'am Sangita, please. Good evening, Leo. Good evening, Ma'am. So lovely presentation by uh, all students. I loved it. And uh, now I'm trying to go somewhere with you all. Whenever I will get time and uh, holidays, Definitely, I will contact with you all and I will come to there, isn't it? <laughs> all students of the Bangladesh and Vietnam, all a very excellent, excellent, great job. So, from my side, uh, Ashwin, Ashwin Dixit. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ashwin, yes. So, Ashwin is presenting from the Narayana e Techno School, Bhopal. So, Ashwin, go ahead. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good evening. My, my name is Ashwin Dipshit, and my and I am from India. And 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 my Ashwin, and my, you uh, uh, if you are joining from the mobile, just uh, keep it somewhere. Yes, Ashwin, it's moving. Good evening. My name is Ashwin Dipshit from India. Jaipur is the Jaipur city is is the capital of Rajasthan state, northern northwestern India. It, it is situated in in the north central part of north central part, north central part of India, of the state. It, it is founded in the year of seventeen twenty seven. The the city is named after Maharaja Jai Singh. It is who who was the main founder main founder of this city. 
Jaipur, also known as Pink City of India. The places to visit Jaipur are are Amir Fort, Jantar Mantar, Jantar Mantar for Jaipur and Hawa Mahal. The, the places nearby, the, the cities nearby Jaipur are are Jaipur are Pushkar, the only temple of Lord Brahma. Thank you. I am sharing one 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 link. Yes, sir. This is one photo of Hava Mahal. Wow, amazing, Ashwin. Nice picture. Yes. Thank you. I, I am done with my presentation. Awesome presentation, dear. Thank you, Ashwin. Uh, over to you, Amy. Actually, my two students were not able to join. So over to you, Amy. Thank you, educators. Thank you. It's wonderful, ma'am. Thank you so much. Now uh, I would like to invite my student and also uh, Miss Devi from Indonesia. Uh, first, my student, Belfa. Hello, my name is Aurel and my favorite place is mountains and beach because the vibes are really make me calm and make me comfortable and rejoice in a in city. Thank you. Hello, my name is Belva and my favorite place is beach. I often go there with my family. When I was on the beach, I felt the pounding of the beach. Water and the and the breeze always make me feel calm and make me fresh. Thank you. So thank you so much for Belfa and Aurel. Next, please, Miss Devi from a lecture from Indonesia, please. Thank you, Teacher Amy, for inviting me to share these ideas about the favorite place. Actually, when I hear other students' presentations about their favorite places, maybe I will go there some someday. Perhaps I will I will I will make it like for my bucket list to travel next year, perhaps. I mean okay. Now for this occasions, I'd like to share you about my favorite place. And uh, one of my favorite places in Indonesia is Bandung because it is my hometown. Um, besides being uh, known as one of the largest fashion cities in Bandung, um, Bandung also has a very uh, beautiful natural attractions. One of them is a Tangkuban Perahu. Have you ever heard about Tangkuban Perahu? Miss Amy, perhaps? So, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, Miss Devi. It's a uh, very famous in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's only uh one hour and a half from my home. I usually wow. I usually go there uh every weekend. Uh yeah. 
Tangkuban Perahu is an active volcano situated 20 kilometers north of the city of Bandung, West Java of Indonesia, um, uh, specifically in Lambang. It is the only crater in Indonesia that you can drive up with your car to its very rim. Mount Tangkuban Perahu have a distinctive shape from far and it looks like an overturned boat. If you visit the place, uh, you will be greeted with silver fumes, which, which the crater continues to emit, although the volcano is not active at the moment. Located at the high line, just at the outskirts of Bandung, Bandung City, Tangkuban Perahu Crater is surely a perfect place to enjoy cool air, recharging your energy and relaxing sceneries after a series of shopping uh, activities in Bandung City. For relaxing sensations, you can continue your journey to the nearby craters, revitalizing hot spring, maybe only a kilometer from Tangkuban Perahu. Here is a, a glimpse of Tangkuban Perahu views, if you want to see it. That's a glimpse of uh, Tangkuban Perahu. I recommend place if you want to visit Indonesia because you can relax, like, uh, you can energizing your uh, energy and relaxing your body after shopping after all the activities. Uh, near, uh, near the Tangkuban Perahu, you will see crater uh, like hot springs to relaxing, relaxing your body, something like that. I think that's one of my favorite places in Indonesia, Teacher Ali. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Dewi, for sharing. Uh, now I would like to call Teacher Olga from Mexico. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, Good morning from here. So it is a pleasure to uh, make a presentation with one of my intelligent student, and we are we are just having a short um, information about what is her favorite place to visit. Okay, let me share it. Let me share. Okay, could you please introduce yourselves, Darine? Hello, good morning. My name is Darine. I am from Mexico. I am 11 years old, street. And my favorite place is the city, especially Me Mexico City. I like to visit the street because I can visit the museums, I can visit the parks, I can visit the churches. I can walk in the different restaurants, chains, Japanese, all American restaurants. I can visit the shopping mall. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Darine. You're welcome. It would be our short presentation about Mexico City, the capital of our country. Nice presentation. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Darine. You're welcome, teacher. That's a beautiful presentation, Darine. Thank you so much. And also for teacher Olga, thank you so much. I think that's our last presentation or maybe other student or teacher. Okay, Amy, I have one student left if you allow me. I mean, for some. Sangnik, are you here? Sangnik uh, from Bangladesh. I'm here. Yes. Yes, Sangnik, you can you can share your uh, presentation now. Yes, uh, this my uh, this is my presentation. Can you see it? Yeah, we can see it there. Continue. Okay, my favorite place is Zamtala Civis. Uh, where there's some problem. Uh, sir. Yes. There is some problem here. I can just sense my uh, next uh, slide. Next slide. Okay, in that case, just continue with speech. I mean, complete your speech. Keep it, the slide is still here, no problem. Okay, let's. Okay, my favorite place is Damtala Sibis. Uh, why it is my favorite? Because this is beautiful Sibis attached with Shundarbon. We can enjoy both trailing of Sundarban and the beauty of Sibis. My experience, we went there on December 30, 2023. We played a football on the Sibis, saw many animals, took some beautiful pictures, and had bath on sea. It is, it was exciting and trailing. There are some pictures. Uh, and thank you everyone for listening to me. Uh, welcome, Sanik. So I think, Amy, that's all. Thank you so much, Yer. Uh, that's um, our virtual travel to beautiful places in the world. Thank you so much. I think that's a last presentation and see you next week. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Thank for you so much for coming. Thank you, Thank you all see teachers. You. See you. See you, teacher. Next week. Bye. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Thank you, all students. Thank you so much. Excellent students. <laughs> okay. Bye, Darine. See you again. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Have, Have a good, good weekend. Day, and teacher Olga. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Amy. It, it is really amazing to 